Cowboy bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cans away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old, meek and the bold. From every village town, can you hear the sound? Can you see the light through the dark? Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. On, on this end, on without end, their joyful tone to... Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everyone! Here to start a Christmas movie marathon. Alright, I did one back in 2011, but I don't think I reviewed the movies as good as I can probably do it now. So I'm going to start off, start over, clean fresh. Those old reviews will start, will still be up. Starting off with Home Alone 1. This is a classic. This movie has got to be one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. How So it starts off with kids, like... A fake police officer who's actually a burglar going to people's houses to see what they're going to have so he can rob them, but he's dressed up as a cop. A little pizza guy comes, has a lot of pizzas, and then there was $122.50 for the pizza. And you get Kevin, who's played by Macaulay Culkin. He goes down stairs for the pizza as well. Everyone's ignoring the pizza guy and the the fake cop, but the funny thing is Harry, the fake cop, is like one, he says Hi, are your parents home? My parents live in Paris sorry, something like that. Hi, are your parents home? Yeah, but they don't live here. Hi, hi, are your parents home? Yeah, do they live here? No, no, why should they? All kids, no parents probably a fancy orphanage or something like that. That was hilarious and then he said Am I under arrest or something? No, no, no. It's Christmas time. There's always a lot of burglaries. So we're taking a look at everyone's taking proper precaution. That's right. Then he said... Then he said something about that. Um, he said we got automatic lights for our doors and... For our house and locks for our doors. And then he said, did you get some eggnog or something like that? So then there's the pizza. So they ignore the pizza guy. He said... Hundred twenty-two fifty. That's my brother's house. He'll take care of that. You the Mi Mr. McAllister? Yeah, you're the Mr. McAllister who lives here. That's what Harry said, and he said, "Yeah, oh good, because someone owes me hundred twenty-two fifty." But then they just walked off, and then the mother paid for it because Kevin had attacked Buzz, his brother, for eating his cheese pizza. And then they heard there was a shovel guy who wants to who kill people with a shovel, but it was untrue. <laughs> <laughs> and then they said the salt turns the ice into mummies or the snow <laughs> like the salt turns the ice or snow into mummies so then they were all talking and having a good time and then Kevin said did anyone order any plain cheese and Buzz went yeah someone did but someone's gonna have to barf it up you know why cause it's gone he said, Kev, Kev, get a plate. Blah, blah. And then he uh, he tackled Buzz, and then Buzz or Kevin got yelled at, and they said, What is the matter with you? And he said, He started it. He ate my pizza on purpose. He knows I hate sausage and olives and onions. And he's like, Look what you did, you little jerk. You know, I don't know why he couldn't have just peeled, taken a pizza and taken all the stuff off he doesn't like and eaten it like that. With all the toppings off and just eating cheese pizza like that. I mean, I like pepperoni, sausage, and olives. And sometimes I like pepperoni, sausage, olives, and onions. Not so much into mushrooms. On the Costco pizza, they're alright. Green peppers are pretty good. But then, yeah, everyone was gone. And the pizza dough is really good on that Costco pizza. And Kevin was the only one left home, so I said, I made my family disappear. He's going crazy and jumping around. And then they come, the two burglars, Harry this time, and Marv, Marv's the funny, stupid one, comes to, uh, they come to break into the house. But then they saw a light, and he said, I thought you said they were gone. They're supposed to leave this morning. Let's go. And then... He ran, they came back the next day, or they were supposed to come back, but um, they thought the McAllisters were there, but then the McAllisters 
McAllister. Fuck. Well, I didn't say the F word. The McAllisters called their neighbor and they thought they were. I said fuck. I didn't want to swear. The McAllisters called the called their neighbor one kid who they got mixed up with because he was looking in their toys and they counted their his head too. Heather did, and then and then she went there and counted his head instead, mixed up with Kevin. And he said, "Have a good trip. Bring me back some French then later." He was watching rubbish, Kevin was. It was about a gangster. He said, I'm going to pump your guts full of lead or something. He said, one, two, ten. Bang! And he started laughing. And then he ran off. Uh, Kevin paused the movie and went, or he just paused the movie and Kevin went, Mom! And then she went, did I turn off the coffee? No, I did. Did you lock up? Yeah. Did you close the garage? That's it. Forgot to close the garage. No, that's not it. What else could we be forgetting? Kevin! And then they went... They... Tried to get a cop to call Kevin. Or to go to... Check a, check on his house. There's a family crisis. He went... You want us to go to your house... Just to check on him. Yeah. Then he transfer, transferred her back to the police and she went... Someone pick up! Pick up! And she went, oh, hi, ma'am, it's you again. And then she told, and then they said, we'll send a, a cop to check on your son. Because Kevin said, I'm not afraid anymore to the to the robbers. Did you hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. He, see, he sees the guy who Buzz said killed his family with a shovel. He runs off screaming. Yeah. And then the cop knocked on the door. No one, um, Kevin was too afraid to answer the door. So I said, but he said, I can't be afraid. I'm the man in the house. But then when he saw the shovel man, he started to scream. And then he came back into the house and, you know. <laughs> then Harry and Marv caught him a few times and they followed him. And it, it was funny because he was afraid of the heater. Also, at one point, it said, Hello, Kevin! And he went, Shut up! And then it closed. Well, pardon me, I haven't seen this movie in a few years, so it's going to be kind of... It's going to be kind of quick, because I can't remember everything, but I've seen this movie a lot of times. It's like my third, my second favorite Christmas movie. Yeah. I'm... I would give this movie a 10 out of 10, because it's perfect. Um, um, this one might be tied up with the second Home Alone because it's still funny. Um, I would say another part, like, because he, he went and got toys to go, he was like eight years old in that movie, and he was ten in the second one, but the funny thing is... He was bringing back his his bags, and then his bags split open, and he went. And then he just took the stuff home, still, because it was plastic, and then he used laundry detergent to wash his clothes, and then, and then he went into Buzz's life savings and br broke some stuff in his door, or in his house. Broke Buzz's shelves, and he went, Buzz, your girlfriend, woof, and one time he went, Hey, Buzz, I'm going through all your private stuff. You better come out and pound me. And he said, Guys, I'm eating junk and watching, or I'm eating ice cream and watching rubbish. You better come out and stop me. <laughs> it was so funny, that movie. And then he grabbed the BB gun and shot all the action figures, and then later he walked off and he went to go buy a toothbrush, but then he saw the shovel guy again, and he was scared. He ran, and they went, shoplifter, because he started walking, then he ran, and he ran away from the cop, and he said, I'm a criminal later. After that, um, Harry and Marv came back later, 
And then they saw that the house was packed, but it was packed by little cutouts. And he said, you think they came back from Paris? And then they ran off. Then they came back the next day and saw that it was Kevin. And he said, hey, Dad, can you come out and help me? Because he cut down the Christmas tree. And he said, you know that kid we saw the other day? He lives here. He said, if he's here, how come his parents aren't here or something like that? You want to come in and rob? That doesn't sound like a good idea. And he said, ever since I laid eyes in that house, I wanted it. So then they ran off um, and then came back around 9 o'clock. And um, Buzz's mom or Kevin's mom got picked up by uh, um, John Candy in the movie. One of John Candy's characters, who is a very funny actor. He was like, Polka, 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 polka. I, I love John Candy. He's hilarious. Um, and he was playing a clarinet, like, the fa la la la, -la song, like, Deck the Halls with Fox of Folly. So then the second part, he wanted to go back home, or he, he wanted his mom back home. Then later he had, like, macaroni and cheese. But then he said... He went to the church, actually, before he made the dinner. So I, 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 I'm not remembering all this movie, So, but I'm getting there. So he went to the church, and then the shovel guy was there, and he said, Merry Christmas. May I sit, can I sit down? And Kevin nodded. And then him and Kevin were talking, and he said, there, none of that shovel murder story is true. But um, he wasn't feeling bad about himself. He wanted to go see his grand granddaughters sing. Before Kevin moved in, um, the shovel guy said he didn't care to see his son anymore, and his son said the same to him. And they haven't spoken to each other since. But then he he wanted to call his he he was thinking about calling the son, but he was scared. And then. He ran, Kevin ran home and said, this is my house. I have to defend it. So he set up traps everywhere. And, yeah, everything was so funny at, at the end. It was even funnier because what he did was he, he stood there and he made up all those traps. And I think he made his dinner and then blew out his candles. And then everyone came in. Like, they would slip down the stairs their face would be smashed with an iron. They get slapped in the face with a paint can. Paint can. Jab a nail in their foot. Like burn his head with a blowtorch was funny. Cause he's like, ah! My brother's like, don't just stand there, you idiot! And then he put out his hair. And then one person got dressed like a chicken. And <laughs> yeah. And then he slipped and fell on toys. And he said. You give up, or are you thirsty for more? They get slapped in the face with paint, paint can. And he said, "Hey, you lose any teeth?" And he said, "What? It's my gold tooth, my gold tooth." And I think he said, "You pawn me with one more can, kid. I'll snap off your jacuzzi and boil them in a mortar oil." I love how crazy they went, and then Marv grabbed. Kevin, as he was running, he said, I got him! He dropped a tarantula, and he's like, ah! Ah! And he puts it on Harry, and goes, jeez, you're jumping And he said, what? He went, he went, what? Is it there? And he said, I'm gonna hit you, huh? Vroom, vroom, vroom. You jerk! Get that kid out of here! Get that kid! That was hilarious. But, the funny part was at the beginning, or, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, you want to hit me, huh? You, you jerk! Get that! <laughs> the, the 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 beginning was funny. <laughs> Harry goes, "We know that you're in there and that you're all alone. Come out! It's Santa Claus and his elf. We're not gonna hurt you. No, we got some nice presents. Be a good kid and open the door." Shoot! Oh shoot! What? What? What happened? Get in there! And he said, "Hello." God! Ah, the little jerk is armed. All right, I'm going around the back. You go around the front, or something like that. 
And then they... And then after the tarantula incident, he said, I'm here, you horse's ass. I'm going to call the cops. And he already called the cops and told them this house has been robbed. And Harry... Marv would always flood the house. Always. Flood houses that they robbed, the wet bandits. But then, the funny thing is, he's calling the cops. He's not calling from a tree house! <laughs> and then he clipped the... the... the rope, and then he went to that house, and then he said, Hi, we outsmarted you this time. And he said, What are we gonna do to him, Harry? We're gonna do exactly what he did to us. We're gonna burn his head with a blowtorch. We'll smash him in the face with an iron, jab a nail through his foot. First, I'm gonna bite off all these fingers one at a time so that we're gonna torture him. But little did they know that Mr. Shovel Man was there. <gasps> smack! Smack! <laughs> he hit him! Both of them with the shovel. His parents, his family comes home, but the funny thing is, his mom apologizes, but at the end, he, oh, and you see the shovel man, and I think his son came back, because it was Christmas, and they made up, and he saw his grandma, his granddaughter, and then he waved to Kevin, and Kevin waved back, but the funny part, Kevin, what did you do to my room? Because you know it's Buzz. <laughs> they went, you shopping? He can't even tie his shoelaces. How did he go shopping? But then... He said, hey, Kevin, it's pretty cool you could stay here, or pretty cool you could do something. And he went, thanks, Buzz. Kevin, what did you do to my room? That was my favorite part I left out. The little Nero pizza dude from the beginning <laughs> comes and he said, he knocks and, and the Johnny Gangster guy was talking from the movie. Who is it? It's little Nero, sir. I have your pizza. Leave it on the doorstep and get the hell out of here. And he said, okay, what about the money? What money? Well, you have to pay for your pizza, sir. And I think he said, matter of fact, how much do I owe you? Well, that'd be 1180 sir. And I think he gave him 12 And he said, keep the change, you filthy animal. And he said, cheapskate. And he said, hey, I'm going to get you a count of 10 to get the hell out of my house before I... Before I pump your guts full of lead. One, two, ten. And he starts laughing. That guy runs off, goes in his... He ran, he ran for his life and hopped in the car and drove off. And then Kevin said, A lovely cheese pizza just for me. Trust me, I love this movie. And then the funny part at the end, Marv goes. And he has... Kevin has all the firecrackers, lights, drops. Boom! And then he... Marv ran off and told him, I know I've heard that name Snakes before. And he said, Snakes, Snakes, don't know no Snakes. Maybe he's seen the movie before. And he said, A convicted murderer? Wouldn't it be great if we asked if they have questions to answer? Or won't we have good quality to answer the questions? Something like that. I can't really remember. But, um, yeah, so that's my thoughts. This was a great movie. This is, uh, a very great Christmas movie for the whole family. Trust me, I love it. And if I find a copy somewhere, I'll definitely watch it because I haven't seen this movie in years and I really enjoy it. You know, movies I haven't seen in years, I find somewhere and I just pop them in and start watching them and sit down, relax. This would be a great movie to at least have a like dinner to. You know, sit there maybe with a hot, maybe with a mug of hot chocolate, eggnog. Just sit there, watch the movie, and enjoy it. Well, that's my thoughts, so stay tuned for some more Christmas movie everything. Christmas movies and everything. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye. Peace.